yesterday we looked at multi plant monopolist now let's take our discussion further and let us compare the position of the perfect competition and monopoly how is the consumer surplus changing in perfect competition in monopoly how is producer surplus and profits they are changing in perfect competition and monopoly let's have a look at that so we have the curve like this right and uh, we have the demand curve right ar curve you can say and this guy is the mr curve this guy is the mr curve and this is the mc curve this guy is the mc curve here you have price here you have quantity hmm? now where p is equal to this ar is nothing but the price curve right so where p is equal to mc that is going to be the point of a competitive firm right so this is the output of the perfect competition sorry perfect competition and this is the price of the perfect competition what about this guy here you have the quantity of the monopolist where mc is equal to mr and this is what the uh, price of the monopolist this is what the price of the monopolist now beta you guys know this that this area it represents the consumer surplus under perfect competition while in your uh, monopoly only this much is the perfect competition the reason being because in monopoly uh, consumers they will have to pay higher price so they are left with very less consumer surplus but there is an increase in the monopoly profits so is it possible for us to say that uh, uh, in the increase in monopoly pro monopoly profits is going to overpower the decrease in consumer surplus right so uh, have a look at that let's write few points first and then we will label this more right so note that consumer surplus is smaller in monopoly as compared to perfect competition compared to perfect competition mainly because customers they will have to pay higher price in monopoly and they'll be buying fewer units then right because uh, consumers pay more per unit more per unit right and buy fewer units and buy fewer units one thing huh? second thing second thing is that uh, uh, under monopoly the profits are because in perfect competition there is hardly any profit in long run there is no profits in perfect competition right right in contrast in contrast profits are larger are larger in monopoly right 
so the question uh, which is going to arise is whether uh, the gain in the firm's profit is going to offset the loss in consumer surplus in monopoly right uh, and will it give rise to an increase in the social welfare right so that's the question which we are asking because in society there are both firms and consumers so it's not that uh, firms are doing anything wrong uh, by by asking for money for their products or firms are doing anything wrong in making profits no so but the societal welfare could be sometimes by supporting consumers and by supporting or sometimes by supporting firms so we will have to have a balance there so the question which we are asking is that will the increase in social welfare be more in monopoly case uh, is is it going to be possible because monopoly will have higher profits as compared to perfect competition but will have lower consumer surplus right so i mean is there going to be an increase in consumer welfare let's have a look at that in comparison to perfect competition right so whether the firms so the question is whether the monopolists whether the monopolists profit gain gains offset the consumer surplus loss giving rise to giving rise to overall increase in social welfare overall increase in social welfare right well uh, we will see that this is not going to be the case because as i nahi hai that just because the profits have increased for the firm but the loss in consumer surplus is much more and this is going to result in the fall in social welfare in monopoly as compared to perfect competition so what i'll do is that i'll mark some areas so this triangle complete triangle is a this region this rectangle is b this is c right so i will also mark this region mm -hmm. so this region is d this is e and this is f this region is d this is e and this is f right so what i'll do is that i'll copy this okay and uh, here we are going to write uh, let's say consumer surplus consumer surplus profits and welfare and here you have perfect competition and here you have monopoly and here you have the difference in the difference in that so let's look at the uh, the consumer surplus in uh, perfect competition it is what a plus b plus c this area this is what the consumer surplus in perfect competition right a plus b plus c in case of monopoly only this much is the consumer surplus just this a right so there is a loss of how much of area b and c right in monopoly as compared to perfect competition you look at you look at profits 
right? In case of perfect competition, the profits are D E F. D plus E plus F. Uh, and uh, in case of monopoly, what is going to be the profits? So monopolist price is PM. Okay, just wait. Perfect competition mein monopolist uh, profits kitne hai itte beta. This one, right? You are charging more price in the cost till this particular point. You can call this as producer surplus also. In case of monopoly, how much is the profit? You are asking for this much of price, right? And your cost is this much and you're producing this much. So this area, B plus D plus F, this one, right? So it is uh, your B plus D plus F, B plus D plus F. So what is the uh, loss here? Uh, what is the loss here? Your uh, so you are left with this thing is gone. This thing is gone, right? So you're left with what? Your D plus uh, B plus C, B minus C. So monopolist has gain B, but has lost E. So it is B minus C, right? B minus C. Okay, in case of welfare, welfare is the sum of these two, no? So it is how much? A plus B plus C plus D plus plus F. Here you have A plus B plus D plus F. A plus uh, B plus D plus F. Okay, in case, because that's what the sum is. So, the thing is that how much uh, is left out? Uh, it C it has left out and E is that it has left out. And you can see the sum part of consumer surplus which a monopolist has lost. This has been gained in terms of the profits of the monopolist. right? But there is some part which has not gone to the monopolist also. So that is what the dead weight loss is, right? Uh, so should we write few points? Please write this. Hmm. Uh, part of the consumer welfare, please write. Part of the consumer welfare welfare B. is transferred. Yehi baat jo mein keh tha, ke this part of consumer surplus has been lost and it has been given to monopolists in terms of profit. Is transferred to the monopolist in the form in the form of larger profits, right? But there is some part of the consumer welfare, right? That is, uh, or the societal welfare, that is C plus C, which was there in perfect competition that has not been transferred to the monopolist, right? However, however, a portion of total welfare portion of total welfare, right, under under perfect competition, right, is not transferred
is not transferred to the monopolist. Hence, lost. What is that region? C plus C. What is that region? C plus C. Right. So this net loss in the social welfare, when you're moving from perfect competition to monopoly, is what is called the deadweight loss of monopoly. Right. So <clears throat> this one. This region, complete region. Right? This is the net loss in social welfare. So you can write somewhere. This net loss in social welfare net loss in social welfare which is C plus C That is also called the dead weight loss of monopoly. That is also called dead weight loss of monopoly. Right, Vita? <clears throat> Thank you.